So you want to be a web developer, but you don't have the time, the resources, the money, the energy to go back and get a CS degree or go and attend a coding bootcamp. You're in luck though, because there are a ton of free and cheap online resources that you can use to learn web development. The three of which we will talk about today that taught me web development and then some. Before we jump in though, who am I? My name is Dylan. In 2020, when the pandemic hit, I began teaching myself how to code about a year and a half into my journey, things finally started to come together for me to where I was getting some interviews and job offers with amazing companies, one of which is the software startup that I work for today as a full-time programmer. It's been over two years since my journey first began and my life has completely changed. And on my channel, I share the countless lessons that I've learned along the way. And honestly, I'm still learning. I've just made a commitment to learn in front of other people. So if you're new, kick back, enjoy the ride and hit that subscribe button. Let's jump in. I'm kind of doing this off the cuff. I didn't really write a script for this. So I'm just going to go into each course. So the first course is on free CoCamp. It is their brand new responsive web design course, and it's way better better right now than it was when I first took it, so that's great. This course ultimately focuses on HTML and CSS, how to build the basics of a website. It's all you need to know. You first build a cat photo app, which is really fun. I think what I really like about Free Code Camp is that there's a live console embedded into the classes. So you type code and then the result immediately pops up. Whereas with other courses, you have to like open the console in the browser, which might be a little bit difficult and unfamiliar with the true newbies. And for me, I was a true newbie when I first started out. Like I had no prior experience. So I think that this course is great to start on. You learn a little bit about the basics of CSS by actually building a penguin, which is super fun. Lots of animals. Who doesn't like animals? And then you really just learn how to make web pages and make responsive layouts, which is super important in web development. It's something that I didn't really have a ton of experience with until later on in my journey. And I think it's really cool that this course covers responsiveness. It's huge. I highly, highly recommend this course, the responsive web design course on Free Code Camp. You cannot go wrong. It's where so many people start out. It's where I started out. And sometimes I still go back and refer to it. Now let's jump over to Udemy. The second course that we're going to talk about is build responsive real world websites with HTML and CSS. Kind of a mouthful. <laughs> this course is taught by Jonas Schneckman, Shedman, Shedman. I think Jonas S is a little bit underrated and understated on Udemy. He's not talked about enough. I took this course and learned so much about web design, HTML and CSS. He runs you through how to basically plan, build, sketch, design, choosing color palettes for a website. He shows you where to find digital assets like images for web developers. He teaches you about CSS and Flexbox, and then you end up building this really cool food website called OmniFood. And honestly, it's so impressive. You could use this as a portfolio project. Like it's that nice looking. You don't really even go into JavaScript in this course. Again, it's kind of just an extension of that free CoCamp course that we talked about previously. It's a little bit more comprehensive. Jonas really goes into kind of the intricacies of HTML and CSS, and it makes you a better web developer in the end if you really take the time to understand some of the detailed parts of HTML and CSS. I highly, highly recommend this course. It's amazing. It really enhanced my HTML and CSS skills. And generally just my web design skills, it gave me a bunch of ideas and a bunch of resources of like how I could get different pieces of information off the internet, where to search for information and resources and assets on the internet. Super, super fruitful, very wholesome course. All right, so we are going to stay on Udemy. And the next course that we're going to talk about is the complete JavaScript course 2023 from zero to expert. Again, it's with your boy Jonas. The man is a king. He teaches you about JavaScript, plain and simple in this course. He talks about so many things, all of the essentials, if else statements, object oriented programming, async and await, which is great. So you cover API calls and Ajax. You learn about functional programming a little bit. It's just a really nice, wholesome course where you really dive into JavaScript. I had dabbled a little bit in JavaScript 
JavaScript before I took this course. And then after I took the course, I definitely felt way more familiar with it. Just to be honest though, you're not gonna be like a JavaScript expert after this course. This is a great course to understand the basics of JavaScript and how you can really build in functionality into a website. So again, it's kind of like an extension of the second course that we talked about in this video, which was that HTML and CSS course that Jonas also offers. You end up getting to build this app called Forkify. You get to put all of these concepts into practice. You query an API. You learn all about deploying the project so that it's live on the web. Honestly, the whole deployment part like wasn't even a thing when I had taken it a few years ago. So it's like really cool to see that Jonas is updating these courses. So anyways, I highly recommend this course. It's a great course. It'll really get you up to speed on the JavaScript basics and really teach you how to build functionality behind a website, which is so important to enhancing a website. So yeah, these are the three courses that taught me web development. Honestly, I'm always learning. I'm still learning. Definitely check out the free CoCam responsive web design course. It's great to understand the basics of HTML and CSS. I would recommend after that taking the build responsive real world websites with HTML and CSS course that Jonas S offers, Jonas Sheckman. And then by extension of those two courses, I would recommend taking the complete JavaScript course 2023 from zero to expert by Jonas Jonas Shedman. There we go, Shedman. Maybe it's that. These are three courses that I think are great to really understand HTML, CSS, and JavaScript all around and become a great web developer. It's what you need to know to at least start freelancing or get your foot in the door. And I'm so grateful for that because we have these cheap and free online resources rather than having to go back to school and get like a CS degree or go to a coding bootcamp. Thanks so much for stopping by. I really hope that this video was helpful. Feel free to give this video a like. It helps to push the video out to other people on YouTube. Maybe we can help to inspire and motivate other people. And go check out some of my other videos. I make a lot of content like this, as I just said. Really the point of this channel is for me to share my skills, knowledge, and experience with you. It's kind of just like a synthesis of all those things so I can hopefully help you out and maybe just inspire you. Until next time, peace.